It wasn't too long ago that a six-speed automatic transmission was state-of-the-art. Then we got seven-speed, eight-speed, and nine-speed units. One of the nine speeds, designed by noted transmission manufacturer ZF, has given multi-speed transmissions a bad reputation. Paired with four-cylinder and V6 transverse mounted engines in Fiat Chrysler automobiles, NYSC, FCA, Jaguar Land Rover, and Honda, Acura vehicles, hit dithers instead of downshifting, sometimes clunks into gears, and barely ever reaches the top gear. Given those shortcomings, it may not be wise for any automaker to build a transmission with more gears. And yet Ford Motor Company, NYSC, F, and General Motors Company, NYSC, GM, are teaming up to build a 10-speed, and Honda is developing one of its own. The plan is to use the 10-speed with the V6 engines in large Honda and Acura vehicles, possibly in 2018 models. Honda says it will improve fuel economy by 6.0% over the current 6-speed. Prior to the Tokyo Motor Show in late October, I got the chance to sample Honda's forthcoming 10-speed at the company's R&D center in Tochigi, Japan. The car I drove was an Acura RLX, which was paired with a 310-horsepower 3.5-liter V6 and a development version of the 10-speed. The test drive consisted of two laps around the facility's high-speed oval, which means I spent just a few minutes in the car. However, I was able to assess how this transmission acts in its current stage of development. Both when accelerating from a stop and when fluctuating speeds, the transmission executed smooth shifts without delay. There was none of the shift shock that you get with a ZF9 speed. I also eased along at about 70 miles per hour to see if it would be able to get into 10th gear. That happened without a problem, and it was quite a weird sight to see 10th gear indicated in the instrument cluster between the speedometer and tachometer.